I'm Dr. Brett Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon, nutrition specialist, and featured BPI sports expert. No, there are differences. So being in ketosis is this arbitrarily defined uh, threshold of 0.5 millimolars um, of blood ketone. So if you're above that, say one millimolar uh, of ketones in the blood, ketone level in the blood, then you are considered in ketosis. Um, fat adapted um, is different than, than keto adapted. Fat adapted is sort of the midway point between the typical um, American diet and uh, being keto adapted. Keto adapted is typically takes weeks to months uh, to attain, and that's where you are, your body's um, uh, cells are almost wholly reliant on ketones. And again, that takes weeks to months of requisite carbohydrate depletion. So low carbohydrates for weeks to months. Typically, it's eight to 12 weeks before you become fully keto adapted, during which point, or after which point, you're not really relying on glucose for, um, for energy. Um, your cells are relying on ketones. Fat adapted is somewhere between, so you're relying, I would say, half and half on beta oxidation of, 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 of fats uh, and um, uh, for energy um, as well as uh, some carbohydrates. And that's typically where I, where I keep my patients. I keep my patients somewhere between 50 and 100 grams of daily carbohydrate load, um, independent of, um, of their starting weight. Um, and th those are really the differences.